Hi, Diderik Gelderman here again. From Rome, as you can see, in the background, there's a famous Colosseum. Why have I chosen this venue for uh, this very brief uh, uh, video? It's because what went on in here many thousands of years ago, I re see reflected in, in many veterinary practices. If you remember, the Colosseum was, was, was the site of gladiatorial combats. And I see that same thing happening in practices today. You may wonder what I mean. Let me explain. Gladiatorial combats were obviously where you know gladiators fought each other, you know, for a winner take all situation. And I see that same thing in practice. I see practices uh, challenging each other, if you could use that word, to try and steal ethically steal clients away from each other. Um, and, and acquiring new clients, often at the cost of, of existing practices. And having a gladiatorial or combative attitude towards other practices in town. And, and really, I, I, that distresses me. This, this practices should be complementing each other and helping each other and not being combative or gladiatorial. We need to understand is that, that all of us have an ideal client, one type of ideal client, and that client loves what we do um, and comes to us, excuse me, <coughs> sometimes in, 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 um, in spite of what we do. So they love, uh, by in spite of what we do, I mean, what I mean is that we can even make a mistake and they'll, they'll forgive us. So we all have our ideal client. It's the 80-20 rule. Not every client deserves to be your client. Not every client wants your experience and, and, and what you have to offer. So let me say that again. Create a unique client experience. A unique client experience that attracts that 20% of the clients that are out there to you and those clients will be your ideal clients. They'll do everything that you want them to do. They'll love you, you love them, and that's a fantastic relationship. And, and, and it's easy to attract these clients when you create a client or a customer or a pet service experience that's unique to you and unique to your practice. And, and let me readdress that. Never try and be better, or in fact worse, and I hate to say if anyone ever tried to be worse, but never try and be better than any other practice in town. Be different, be unique, be yourself, offer what you want your clients to experience. Get rid of that gladiatorial attitude, and, and you'll even have other practices in town referring what they class as their B or C or D clients to you, and they might be your A clients and vice versa. So that, that's all I've got to say from, from the Coliseum. Let's, let's let that 2,000 year old attitude be 2,000 years ago. Let's have a new 21st century attitude where we, we act cooperatively, we have a unique customer service experience. Pareto's principle, 2080 rule, 8020 rule. We have our ideal clients, everyone else has their ideal clients and our clients love us and, and uh, service us. So that's it. If you want to know how to do that, um, send me an email or give me a bell and I'll, I'll, I'll show you some strategies in which you can uh, do that for yourself and develop that unique customer service experience. So that's it from, from, from Diderik at, uh, at the Roman Coliseum. Thanks. Bye.